Hello, Mike Parsons here with Bluegrass with Friends. Hey, I uh, had a question on my videos there on YouTube, so I figured we'd make another one answering that question. They asked about long neck banjo. Well, this is a long neck banjo, and me, I'm a long neck banjo player. You see how long my neck is. Okay, so uh, the long neck banjo can be tuned several ways, but the way that most people tune it is simply just like G, just like a G banjo, D, G, B, D, and then G again up here on the fifth string, but they back that up three frets and that gives you the key of E. So this fourth string is now B, third string, that's your E string, and then this one here would be G sharp. And then we have the B again, and that's why I have this tuner out here so I can get this straight because I'm not really used to it. And then your fifth string is again tuned to another E. So everything is the same as playing in the key of G, regular five string tuning, just drop back three frets. So anything you can play on the regular five string you can play on this, but it will be in the key of E. For instance, Little Birdie, right? dots in this I don't know where the harmonics are anyhow so now the person asked about scales so the regular scale shapes that you play on a regular banjo so sir you can you can go to any banjo book and my videos as well and just learn that any of these scales scales all right so all those scales transfer over one more thing we're going to talk about is how to what people do is they will capo up three and uh, they will raise this up three the fifth string which by the way this is one of those cool slide along fifth string capos so one two three and we're now tuned in G well in the key of G, maybe not tuned. Anytime you do something like this, retune that banjo. That's an important thing. So, That's it. Thank you.